How to fix update KV50609 failed to install in Windows 11 23H2 or 22H2. Hello friends, follow the steps to fix any installation problem with June 2025 security update for Windows 11 23H2 or 22H2. First thing first, install the update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. You will reach this page. Here are multiple files. To determine which file is compatible with your system, click on Start, select Settings. Go to System, scroll down, click on About. Here is System Type. 64-bit operating system, x 64 based processor. Find the file compatible with your system. My system is x 64 based systems, 23H2. This file is compatible with my system. Find yours and click on the download button for the respective file. Click on this link. Let the file download. Once downloading is completed, click on File Explorer icon from the taskbar. Go to Downloads. Right click on the downloaded file and select Open. Follow the on screen instructions to complete the process. If the problem still occurs, modify services. Click on search, type services. Click on services. Here we will make changes in four services which affect uh, Windows update process. The first one is app readiness. Right click on the service, select properties. In every service, we are making changes. The startup type will be automatic. If it is not automatic, then we will click on the drop down and select automatic. And the service status must be running. If the service status is stopped, we will click on start in every service for which we are making changes. For the app readiness service, the startup type is automatic and service status is just stopped. So click on start, click on apply, click on OK. Right click on this service and select restart. Then look for background intelligent transfer service, this one. In the same way, right click on this service, select properties. Change the startup type to automatic. Service status is showing running. So nothing is needed here. Click on apply. Click on OK. Right click on background intelligent transfer service. Select restart. Then look for uh, cryptographic services. This one. Right click on the service, select properties, a startup type is already automatic and the service status is already showing running. So nothing is needed, click on OK, right click on cryptographic services, select restart, click on yes, come to the bottom part of the service window. Find Windows Update, this one, right click on this service, select Properties, Startup Type is already automatic, the service is running, so click on OK, right click on Windows Update and select Restart. Once done, close the Services window and check for updates. Click on Start, select Settings, go to Windows Update and click on Check for Updates. 
if the security update is downloaded restart your computer to complete the installation the next method is run windows update troubleshooter click on search type troubleshoot click on troubleshoot settings select other troubleshooters for windows update click on run let the troubleshooter load select i can download install or uninstall and update can we run windows update automated diagnostic click on yes problem diagnosed windows is checking for updates if the security update is downloaded then restart your computer to complete the installation if any problem then select no under did this solve the problem run the windows update error check diagnostic click on continue checking for windows update errors if the issue is solved then uh, it is good otherwise click on contact support and chat with the team the next method is uninstall third party antivirus program a third party antivirus program may interfere with the windows update process so uninstall it temporarily and check if the issue is solved for this right click on start select install apps find uh, the antivirus program in the list here to be fair i have not installed uh, any third party antivirus i am showing you an example here suppose this is the third party antivirus then uh, click on three dots for this app and select uninstall click on uninstall on the confirmation pop up click on yes follow the on screen instructions until uh, the complete removal of the program and then restart your computer and try to install the update if the issue still persists then uh, reset windows update components we would recommend to reset windows update components using a downloadable file because this method is rather easier go to the video description and click on this link a zip file will be downloaded in your default browser once downloaded click on this folder icon click on extract all select extract right click on this batch file and select run as administrator click on yes press a key on your keyboard do you want to continue this uh, operation type y and press enter press a key on your keyboard close the running tasks and restart your computer then try to install the update if you want to manually reset windows update cache then the commands are given in the description these commands for this open a command prompt type cmd in search click on run as administrator yes run these commands uh, one by one from the description paste into the command prompt press enter copy paste enter 
type y present term copy the third line present term in the same way run all these commands and at last restart your computer then uh, try to install the security update if the problem still occurs there might be something wrong with uh, system files and windows image file to repair these files you will need to run dism and sfc commands for this open the command prompt first click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator click on yes go to the video description and copy the first line of the command paste into the command prompt and hit enter copy the restore health command paste into the command prompt hit enter copy the start component clean up command paste into the command prompt run the system files checker command copy from the description paste into the command prompt and press enter after all commands are executed close the command prompt close other running tasks and restart your computer then uh, try to install the update that's all friends thanks for watching the video